Let's see some examples where you have to find out a polynomial in one variable, right? Which of the following state is polynomial in one variable? Now, we, if you recall, uh, in any polynomial, we had x squared plus 1, okay? And let's say the other one is x squared plus y squared plus 2. In the first polynomial that we are looking at over here, there is an unknown number x, okay? This is a variable. What that means is that the value of this polynomial will vary depending on what is the value of x. So this is a variable in this polynomial, right? So we say that there is only one variable in this particular polynomial because it just has x. On the other hand, if you look at the second one here, depending on what is the value of x and what is the value of y, the value of the polynomial will change. So there are two variables as such in the second polynomial. What we need to find out is amongst these three scenarios which are given to us, okay, um, let's put this as C. We need to find out which of the following state is a polynomial in one variable. So let's look at the first one. In the first one, we have x squared plus x plus 6, right? 6 is a fixed value and the only other number or the only other variable that we have here is x, right? Since there is only one variable, we say that this polynomial is in the state of one variable. So this is a yes. The second one. 7 is fixed, only x squared is something which can vary. Again, this following state of the polynomial is one variable. The answer is yes. And let us look at the third one. Now, third one, what happens is we have y cube plus x cube. Okay, depending on what is the value of y and x, right? The value of this polynomial may change, right? Therefore, we say that in this particular case, it is not a polynomial in one variable. There are more than one variable and therefore, this is not in the state of one variable, right?